Well, hello, welcome to The Lowdown, brought to you by Unibet. I'm Dev Sarni, and joining me today is a light heavyweight looking to wreak havoc on the division yeah. this year, the man himself, Willie Hutchinson. How are you? I'm unbelievable, Dev. I'm unbelievable. I'm Where's very your hair good. Gone? How are you? Where's all your hair gone? But yeah, you know what it is? We're on the 1st of January, me and my coach... Both looked at each other and we said it's savage time. This is the year to be the savage. So how can I be a savage and have that little floppy bit in the front of my ear? I've got to shave the lot off, put a line in there, cut a line in there. You know I've I mean? never seen a savage with long floppy hair. So yeah, it's savage exactly. time. It's this, savage, it's savage time. This this is bad news for the for the light heavyweight division, Willie. You you it's seem like a completely new man over there in Spain. A new man, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a new man. I've had three good wins, three knockouts, and I'm ready to take over the take over the world. This year's my year coming up now, and I'm I can't wait. If you want to know the truth, I can't wait. Some big things coming for me. I've seen that on your Instagram. You've been talking about how this is going to be your year. It feels like yeah. It feels like you've changed your life around. I saw the picture that you put where you were a little bit heavier, and then you yeah. put it next to the one with just. I don't know, about 12 abs? I don't know. Unbelievable, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Of course, I have. I've changed my life around. I'm happy in myself, most importantly. Um, and, yeah, without God, none of it could have happened. So, thank God for, the, for, for that. And, yeah, everything's, everything's going good. Everything's going good. My life's on track. And I'm just ready. And I'm focused and ready for this next fight on the 22nd of March. And big things to come this year, honestly. Well, look, this is the one. March 22nd. Yeah, look at the got... size of that. Look at the look size of that, that, Dev. Have you ever seen that? Look at that! Goodness me. Happy Valentine's Day, Dev Sarni. Look at that. Ah, I'm telling you now. I'm <laughs> telling you right now. What about this fella then? March 22nd, Martin Huben. He's a he's a German. I've seen him actually on yeah. your Instagram. You were running around Germany looking for him. Dev, I've been on the search for him in Germany. I've been all over Frankfurt. I've been in Dusseldorf. I've been everywhere. You name it. I've been there looking for this Torag who has got to fight on the 22nd of March. And let me tell you, he was nowhere to be seen. I heard he was hid in the woods somewhere underneath some, some I don't know what he was under. He just, he was nowhere to be seen. So I had to come back. I'd done 10 days looking for him and I had to come back. But what, uh, what no, happened? I'm looking. I'm looking forward to a good fight. What would have happened if you'd have found him, Willie? What, what I mean, what, what would he, what would you have done? I would have battered these brains right in with that hand. <laughs> but why? I the fight would have been on. Why not? Why not to batter his brains in, and then and then he won't want to fight. Then we get I don't know, someone bigger, better, stronger who can take me. So tell me about this guy then. What, what do you know about him? This is this is the man standing in your way of having a, a good 2024 to start off with. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, I'm only joking here. This man's a good man. He's a good man. He's got a good record. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to just putting a good performance on, looking good, enjoy it while while doing that and, and push on to a big massive 2024 for me. Um, everything's good. I feel good. I'm happy in myself, like I told you. And yeah, this man's the, this man's the next step in my career. Um, and like I said, I was only joking. I'm lo I'm preparing for my hardest fight of my career, so I've got to get through this man for everything to come good for me. So he's in my way, and I've got to demolish him. I've actually heard that Ezra Taylor's going to be there on the on the twenty second as well, just sort of watching on from uh, from ringside. That just a rumor I've heard. Any, yeah. any thoughts on that? Not really, to be honest with you. Israel Taylor should go and fight for a Central Area title because that's all he's... You know what I mean? I didn't even hear who... If you want to know the gods on the truth, I didn't even know who Ezra Taylor was in, in, until until weeks ago. And that is the... And I only knew because he used, posted them saying something about, like, wanting to fight me or something stupid like that there. Do you know what I mean? And that's the only reason why I know about this fella. I don't think he's worth a shilling. And that's the and that's the the gods of truth. You should go and fight the other two who who you said three, and then me. You should go and fight one of them, and uh, and enjoy yourself with them for a central area title or something, and get out my side. Dev, he's had seven fights, right? 
seven fights. I am amateur, Scottish, British, European, and world amateur champion. I'm 16 and one with a WBC silver title. It's the one before the main world title. This fella's seven and over five knockouts and done absolutely nothing. I'm not being big headed. I've still got a big thing ahead of myself. Do you know what I mean? Listen, I've got a mountain to climb, but I tell you. Anyway. Well, look, look I, I, the, the reason I bring it up, obviously, he was one of those names that was on that post. It was him. Yes, it, was, it was uh, Louis Edmondson. It was Carol Atalma. Yeah. And you said, and I've got it here, all three can have it on the same night. On the and same replied, night. Well, he replied, all three, would you even get past three rounds against me? Shut the hell That's up right. before you get your train wrecked. Yeah. Did you see my comment underneath that, though? I'm just going to have a look now. I think I think you called him a sausage, am I right? I'd fight you for free, you daft little sausage. Exactly. And I would, Dev, for him. He's a sparring partner. In fact, I've had to have a sparring partner. So you don't rate him, no? I don't rate him whatsoever. i tell you what it is, and this is the God's going to choose. The last man who, who I fought in my last fight, if he can beat him, I'll give him a chance for my title. That's the only way. If he can beat that man who I knocked out in four, who knocked out Carl Tumba, I'll give him a chance, not a problem, if he can get through him. And if he can get through him, then I'll half rate him. That man is Ezekiel Moderna. I think that's who you're referring to. That was your uh, yeah. fantastic performance last time, Act. So what are your yeah. uh, what are your destinations? What are the destinations for the Hutch train this year? You're talking about a big year. What, 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 where do we go? I won everything, Dev. Dev, if I can be world champion at the end of this year. That's my dream, if you want to know the gods of the truth. That's where I'm aiming, and let's see where let's see where I go. Get through this man first and see what, what's 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 for me, you know what I mean? There's some big fights in Britain, especially bigger than whatever that his name was a minute ago. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean, Dev. How, how do you how do you look back over your uh, your knockout win over Moderna? That was a bit of a statement from you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit of a statement, Dev, but you know what it is? I don't know if it's because I've got older or what it is. It's just a win, another win. Listen, I wish he can go on and win world titles and do everyone's just like what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? I wish him all the best. But what I took out from my fight was just another win, another someone else in my way, and on to the next one. You know what I mean? That's all it was. Yeah. You seem, uh, you well, seem obviously, good. I, I was good. Yeah, you, you. I mean, you were very good. You were very good, and and as you say, look, you rate that fella. You seem in a in a good place right now. You seem very very grounded. You're not sort of getting ahead of yourself. You are focusing one fight at no. a time. One fight at a time, Dev, because that's all it is. One fight at a time, and that's all I can take it. I mean, the the fella who fought me last fight, he's had two fights since me and knocked the two KO'd the two of them. He's a dangerous guy. He's a dangerous man. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I need to... I, listen, I've, I'm 25 now. I've been young and uh, and said said things and this and that, and I'm, I'm blah, blah, blah. There's no need for any of that there. I'm only having a laugh for you, what I'm saying just now. But, um, I mean, yeah, I need to stay grounded. I need to keep myself down. And when the time's right and when it's when it's all there... I'm going to take it with both hands and then I can be as big as I want. What would you say the main difference is between the Willie Hutchinson that we used to see, the one who was, you know, down at super middleweight, rampaging through to your British title shot, to the Willie Hutchinson yeah. that we see now at light heavyweight, hair's gone. Tell us. Yeah. Well, when I was 21, I was a little 21 skinny kid. When I, I'm now a 25-year-old savage Wrecking machine, wrecking ball. That's the difference. I like Stepped it. up to light everywhere, and I feel as strong as a bull. I mean, just look at that, Dev. Oh, look at the size of that. That scares me sometimes. It's not about the shape, Dev. It's just we just got to keep pushing on. Tell me what what you think about this yard versus Buatsi fight. It seems to be uh, gathering a bit of momentum. Two guys now, in the fight division. That's that's what I'm looking at, Dev. I'm not looking at Israel Terra seven and five, seven wins and five. Knock. I'm not looking at him. What am I interested in him for? I'm looking at Yaman Bawatsi and this and Yad. 
this year. I'd happily fight the winner. And in fact, I'd even fight the loser who just lost the yard. What do you call him? The one that lost to Buatsi, Dan, Dan Aziz. Yeah, any of them, any of them. And then World Donners, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at, you know, that if I fight Israel Tiller, I, I, I feel like I may as well go back to when I was 19 years old, when I was 7 and 0 with five knockouts. Mm. I was the only 19, I had the same record as him. How, how do you see a fight going between your Yard and Buatsi? I don't really know. It's a tough fight. It's a tough fight. I don't. I don't. I don't really know. I think the both. No, just listen. I think it would be a very good fight. A very good fight. I. I, I think they're as good as each other. And you had a little moment after your uh, after your win. Actually, I think it was the last one where Dan Aziz. Well, he was, was there. there. He, was, he was British champion but at yeah, the but... time, but. He had all the belts. He's not a bad lad, him, though. He's, he's a lovely lad. He's not bad. But if he's in my way, I'll happily take him out as well. That's what I'm saying. I'll fight any any of these men. It doesn't need to... He has nothing now. What would I get from fighting him? But I will. It all starts March 22nd. Yes. Your call. TNT Sports. Big Martin mm -hmm. from Germany. He's standing in your yeah. way. If he's watching He's this, in my way, and he's a good man. And I've got to take him. I've got to take his lights out. Dev, you see his lights. I'm going to take. I need to take him out. Have you got a message for Martin? He he may well be watching this interview. Nah. I hope he's well and good, and let's have a good fight in 22nd of March. Okay, Willie. Wonderful speaking to you. I'm going to be speaking to you more in fight week. It sounds like you're a man <laughs> with a big plan for 2024. Massive plan. Like Chucky Chan, and I kicked him in the head like Peter. Nah, no, no, no. Anyway, yeah. All right, enjoy the rest of your Valentine's Day, my friend. Yeah, no problem. God See bless.